Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question I got from one of my subscribers and here's a question. In a linear chromosome crossing over frequency between four loci is as follows. AB 10%, AD 3%, BC 4% and AC 6%. The crossing over frequency between C and D and we have to choose one of these answers. Crossing over frequency directly corresponds with map units. For example, 10% crossing over frequency between gene A and B means 10 map units or also we can say 10 centimorgans. How we are going to solve this problem? First of all, we have to choose out of all these fragments the one with greatest distance between genes. We have 10%, 3%, 4% and 6%. We also can say 10 map units, 3, 4 and 6 map units. So between gene A and B we have greatest distance. So let's put it here. So this is going to be fragment, this is going to be gene A and here gene B. And we say that it equals to 10% crossing over frequency. Or we also can say 10 map units. Next we have to choose the fragment that is going to be second largest and this is going to be fragment AC. And also this fragment have to be at least one gene have to be already listed here. And this is gene A. We can say that gene C can be here. In this case here we are going to have 6% crossing over frequency. But we also can say that we can plot gene C here. Again, between A and C we are still going to have 6%. So this is this position of the gene C under the question. The next biggest fragment is going to be between gene B and C. Recombination frequency is 4% and as you see this is going to be here. So this 6% plus this 4% would give us 10% and we know that between gene A and B we have 10% recombination frequency. That means that we can exclude this variant, this position of the gene C because there is no way how between B and C in this case recombination frequency would be 4%. So gene C only can be here. And the last fragment is going to be A and D. Again 3% we whether can say gene D can be here or can be here. In both cases we can say this is going to be 3% here or it can be 3% here. But can we tell for sure which position of the gene D here or here? No, we cannot say. If we would have another uh, variant of the crossing over, for example between gene D and C, we can instantly tell the position of the gene D or between D and B, but we don't have such variants here. So we can say it can be whether here or here. Now let's read our question again. The crossover frequency between gene C and D is so here is a C and if this is going to be position of the gene D, if this distance between gene C and A equals 6%, if between A and D equals 3%, then frequency of the crossing over between D and C is going to be 3%. But again, the position of the gene D also can be here. So let's find in this case what is going to be the distance. 3% here plus 3% here plus 3% here. So another option we can say it can be 3 or 9%. But we don't have such an answer here. And if we assume that only one correct answer here, that means that position of the gene D have to be here. And the only answer that uh, would be suitable would be answer B. Between gene C and D crossing over frequency have to be 3%. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.